Y'all finally got the long ball going in this game. Was that sort of nice to see? Yeah, I think so. I, you know, felt like we could have took a bunch more good at bats after we opened up the score. But yeah, it was good, guys. Uh, it was a good day to hit. You know, that's for sure. If you get the ball up, there was a good chance it was going to go out. And uh, yeah, Josh had a couple good swings. Michael, Paxton, Tommy. I mean, I just I liked uh, how balanced they were. They were ready to hit the mistakes and, and did. You guys don't necessarily have as many proven home run hitters in this team, but you guys have you have a bunch of players who at least can hit home runs. You, a guy like Paxton is sort of a good example of that, or even Michael with some adjustments you're trying to make with him. Is It's just like knowing you have guys who can do that. Does that get, kind of keep your confidence with the home runs and whatnot? Yeah, I mean, I just look at it. We're trying to make them good hitters and manage in the zone and hit a lot of line drives. And when you have the strength that they do and, and the work that they put in, it turns into power. Usually power is the last thing to come for a player. And, um, you know, some guys are better, you know, than they were in the fall. You know, they're stronger. Uh, they're more in tune with the pitches they want to get uh, to drive the ball. Uh, your pitch selection has a lot to do with if you can hit home runs or not. So I think guys have advanced there. Some guys have advanced with their swing. And uh, good to see that coming together. With Gage, do you think it was just bad luck in that first inning that sort of run up ran up for the pitch count? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, walked a guy. That's not bad luck. And then, um, you know, we didn't fill our position. Um, and then, you know, we threw a double play ball away. So I don't think luck had anything to do with, you know, the run. And then we had a wild pitch. So I think all those are controllable. And, um, you know, maybe he's a little amped up. And I uh, hope he was because I was amped up. I was excited to get him out there and, and a start. And, we got the pitch count to where we wanted to, and we got him down in the bullpen to extend a little bit more. Um, after he was done, I wanted to finish with those pitches down there uh, just because they're not as much intent behind him after he was already a little tired, but it can serve the same purpose in terms of building him up for next week. Yeah, Coach, I was just about to ask, you know, with Gage, do you think it was kind of rust, you know, not playing anybody other than yourself uh, for that kind of start? or? Well, I'm trying to think. He struck out the leadoff guy. He walked a guy. Um, then we got the ground ball. Summerhill's a really good hitter. He's a really good hitter. Um, and then uh, we should have turned the double play. And then I thought he was fine after that. Um, then it was a swinging bunt, right? And then, um, you know, the wild pitch scored the guy. So I thought he, I thought he was fine and then uh, responded well. How many strikeouts did he have? Four? Yeah. Yeah, four strikeouts and two and a third. So I'm good with that, that outing. I mean, he's really good, and he'll be better than that outing, but I'm, I'm perfectly good with that outing. You mentioned the response from Gage, but I think every single guy had a chance to respond after some adversity. Just talk about the mental side of what you saw in the pitchers today. Yeah, what a good day. I mean, that's what I would say. I don't think uh, – I mean, I have such a high bar for Nate, and it's just because I trust him so much. Um, but what he did is he pitched himself into trouble and out of trouble really well, and um, he has a knack for that, so that was good to see. But, I mean, Aiden and Micah, um, I'm really proud of those guys. They've developed. Uh, I've been watching it. You know, it just it was good to get them in a game that wasn't completely uh, out of the realm of, you know, 15 runs, 20 runs, and to get out there and execute like that. Um, that, that is something I'll go home with, with a, you know, a very good feeling about today. All the guys have talked about the Coach Yeski places an emphasis on the fastball. It felt like Gage and a couple of the guys – they were really honing in on that. Is that something that you saw as well, just maybe pounding the fastball and then kind of working off those other pitches? Yeah, I think there's a lot of ways to go about pitching. I mean, for me, it's strikes, it's low strikes, it's it's commanding the fastball, moving it in and out, up, down, effectively changing speeds, you know, managing the running game, uh, fielding your position. And it's one of the things I like about Coach Esky is he's a very complete pitching coach. And he does a great job in the game. Um, I think it's one of his best strengths is calling pitches and those types of things. And, you know, there's some of the execution stuff we've got to get better at, but that's, that's why we're here, you know. And um, there's certainly talent to work with, so you like that. With Aiden, um, what sort of clicked with him when it come, came to just sort of his control and, and just being able to throw more strikes out? Yeah, I think uh, reps. I mean, he had a great summer in the Northwoods League. He got about 14 appearances from the time we ended uh, the College World Series till their championship game or semifinal game that he pitched in. And I think that experience was really valuable for him. And, uh, you know, we had a great staff last year, so it was hard to get him out there. But I just think the reps, and I think he had a good fall. I mean, he threw good at McNeese and against ULL. 
and uh, really excited about that because it's all there and you know his development will be a, a big uh, upshoot for our team if it continues. They, they don't have to let them ask all the questions. If you guys want to ask questions. <laughs> I got what I wanted to get to. Uh, with, with, with Paxton, um, it, was it nice to sort of see him get back to get back to hitting the ball pretty well? In the big Let's see, he walked to the homer. Um, some of the middle of the game it escaped me. I know he flied out or popped out once because about seven or eight of them did in a row. Um, but, yeah, he's a good player. And, uh, you know, we're working on stuff continually. Uh, like where he was at from an approach standpoint today and basically went out and did what we wanted him to do. And uh, he's a good player, and he's just going to get better the more that he plays. And with Michael, he had kind of struggled a bit last week. Was I, Again, with him, he had a pretty nice day today. Yeah, he had a great day. Um, really like, obviously, the homer got us going. Sack fly, base loaded one out, and drove that ball, stayed on it well, um, and uh, walked, I believe. So very, uh, very happy with that. He's a good worker. and. and both those guys have done well. It's just, you know, it's a hard game, and, and they just need to stick to it. If they stick to it, they'll both be really good players. What do you think of the pencil bat? Do you like it? Yeah, I have no, if, if they hit the ball hard, I'm a fan of the pencil bat. If they don't, <laughs> I don't like it. You know, but, yeah. <laughs> That's a perfect way to end it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Thank you. <laughs>